Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Friday's Thought for the Day. Yesterday, we heard that both humanity and God were responsible for the death of Jesus. But of course, Jesus' death is not the end of his story. Peter continues to speak to the crowd in verse 24. But God raised him from the dead, freeing him from the agony of death because it was impossible for death to keep its hold on him. What a great but. There's a great contrast between the actions of the crowd and the actions of God. Peter tells them, you voted no against Jesus, but God voted yes for Jesus. You denounced him, but God endorsed him. You killed him, but God raised him up. God had vindicated Jesus by raising him from death. Jesus really is the Lord and the Messiah. Notice, though, the reference to the agony of Jesus' death. Jesus was not spared from genuinely experiencing the horror of death. His suffering was real. He really did die. However, wonderfully, it was impossible for death to keep hold of Jesus. Jesus defeated death. God has authority over death. And the word used here for agony literally means birth pains. So Jesus' death is also pictured as being like the birth pains before birth. Jesus' resurrection is being pictured as like a new birth out of death into life. And it provides us with wonderful reassurance regarding our own future. For what happened to Jesus will also happen to us if we trust in Christ. We too would go from death to life into the kingdom of heaven. Death cannot hold us back from being with our Lord. Death is not the end. Eternal life is ours. Indeed, Paul will later write in 1 Corinthians 15, Verses 21 to 22. For since death came through a man, the resurrection of the dead also comes through a man. For as an Adam, all die. So in Christ, all will be made alive. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for the good news of the resurrection of Jesus. May his resurrection give us great confidence for our eternal future. In Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good Friday.